Challenge. Teen Challenge is a Christian organisation that works with men and women with life controlling problems such as drug addiction and alcoholism and was originally founded by a man, a minister of the gospel called David Wilkerson. David Wilkerson was a, was a minister in America who one day was reading a magazine and felt the call of God on his life to go and work with the street gangs of New York for those gangs in violence and as a result of his ministry Teen Challenge is now over 90 nations worldwide. In the UK we've been here for about 28 years, which originally started as a coffee shop in, in a place called Aberdeer in South Wales and then went on to grow then and we've got around about 200 beds up and down this nation, six centres. And tonight we're here representing Hope House Teen Challenge. Each of these girls have come through Hope House Teen Challenge and have each been set free by the power of Jesus Christ from drug addiction. And you're going to hear some great stories tonight. You know, we at Teen Challenge, we don't, think, we don't believe that it's a program that changes a man or a woman. We believe that it's the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so you're going to hear some great stuff tonight. But why don't you stand with me? We're just going to magnify the name of the Lord together. The splendor of the King.
function. Um, growing up for me were really good, I was shown a lot of love, but I was full of insecurity from a young age and when I started high school I became more insecure. I hated myself, I hated the way I looked. Um, and when the popular crowd liked me, I, it made me feel good that they did. And So to be accepted, I did what they did. and um, I started going out with the most popular guy and I, so to keep him, I, I started to, uh, smoking cannabis and drinking. And this started a cycle for me of finding insecurity in men and drugs. And as the years went on, I started taking harder drugs and I got into worse relationships. I got trapped in a five year um, relationship that was very abusive. My life became so chaotic that my mum and dad went for residency, went to court and got residency with my daughter. I was so desperate to get out of that lifestyle, so desperate to change and desperate to be a good mum to my daughter. I just didn't know how. I tried everything that the world had to offer me and nothing worked, no doctor, no probation order. Nobody could help me. And I began to give up hope that things had ever changed and my life really hit rock bottom. And this is when the Lord stepped in and put a Christian in my path, a Teen Challenge Outreach worker. She told me all about Jesus and how my life could change. She told me about the Teen Challenge program. And it did change shortly after that, on the 26th of October 2011, I entered the Teen Challenge program. And when I walked into Oak House, I experienced Jesus for the first time. I felt such a peace in my mind that I've never felt before. I was speaking to girls there who'd experienced lifestyles like mine, yet they were so happy and I knew Jesus had to be real and so I gave my life to him. And in that time, he has totally transformed it. And I used to be so weighed down with, with my past, with guilt and shame, but through my relationship with him, I've been set free from it all. My mind used to be so tormented that I'd take drugs and drink to block it all out, but now I've got Jesus, I wake up in the morning with a joy in my heart and a mind on good things. You know, my life was a complete mess and now I've got an exciting future ahead of me. I finished the residential part of the programme last year. I'm now a student at the Teen Challenge School of Ministry. It's um, a six month course where you learn how to reach people because that's what I want to do. I want the Lord to use my life. I'm going home next month to be a godly mother. You know, I can't wait to live the life that God's got planned for me. It's because of him at the Teen Challenge Ministry that I stand here today, knowing that I'm loved, knowing that I'm accepted and knowing that I've got a great future for you. Hi, my name's Sally and I'm 25. I was brought up in a Christian home. I knew all the Bible stories. I knew all there was to know about God, but I missed the key that would transform my life. I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus. When I was growing up, I suffered quite badly with depression. And as I went to secondary school, I never felt accepted. I never felt like I fitted in. And I began to question, what was I doing in this world? What was the point of everything? And um, I began to feel quite lost. Um, and because I believed I, I, was, I was already a Christian, I didn't really know where to start looking. Fun nights out at university very quickly turned into lonely nights in with bottles of wine. And soon, where my next drink was coming from consumed my whole day. I wasn't living anymore, I was just existing. To everyone that was in my life, I seemed to be living an amazing life. I was teaching in a beautiful school in Cornwall. I had a lovely home right on the beach, and I had absolutely everything I'd ever worked for. But in amongst all of that, I had absolutely nothing. My life uh, began to be controlled completely by alcohol, and I soon lost everything. I lost my job, I lost all my friends, I lost all self-respect. And um, I went to the doctors last summer, and they told me I wouldn't see Christmas if I carried on drinking at the rate I was. And that didn't even bother me. I'd lost all hope completely. I got down on my knees last, last summer and I cried out to God. I cried out that he would just take my life from me. I didn't want to be alive any longer. But the, the God I'm in love with is an almighty God. And his ways are not my ways and his thoughts are not my thoughts. And he did take me out of that, that life. And he's given me a life worth living. He led me to Hope House last September. And um, my life has been transformed. Because I believed I was a Christian, it took a long time for my hostility towards God to break down. But I saw in the amazing women that I was living with something that I wanted in my life. They had an excitement about the future. They had a love for Jesus. And last November, I gave my life to the Lord. And it's the best decision I've ever made. I now know God very personally. He's my redeemer. He's my friend. He's my comfort. He's my strength. Being at Hope House has been a hard program. Um, I've been stripped of absolutely everything I ever loved or felt comforted by. But in amongst all of that, I've found all I ever need in him. 
I'm so excited to wake up each morning and I'm expectant of what God is going to do in and through me each day. I'm coming towards the end of my programme now and I'm looking forward to going to the School of Ministry because I just want to reach out and help other people um, who have been through similar circumstances to me and I just give him all the glory now for my life that's been transformed. Amen.